despite the new home market being a roller coaster with builder delays and price increases, it is actually the new home market that is somewhat keeping the market alive here in Houston and giving buyers relocating from out of state a solid chance in securing a home. The good news is we do have a lot of options for new construction here and a lot coming in the future. There are so many developments and neighborhoods in the works for these great master plan communities that are coming to Houston in the coming years. This really is a great place to settle down and be able to build your forever home in a community and area that suits everyone in your family. So today I have compiled a list of some of the best suburbs in Houston to build in. This is based on several factors such as the variety of builders, and home options, the location, the schools in the area, the shopping and recreation, and of course, which areas have retained their values in the last several years. Number one on my list is Cyprus. Cyprus has experienced so much growth over the last several years and there are a lot of opportunity for new construction in this area. I personally live in Cyprus and I love it because of the top rated schools, the family friendly communities, the easy access to the city from the highway, and I love all the shopping and recreation that is close by. I personally prefer Cyprus over Katy just because I feel like it is less crowded and has kind of the same things. There is Bridge Creek and Avalon which are both Taylor Morris and communities and these are great options if you're looking for a smaller suburb without as many amenities and perhaps a home with more square footage and lot size for the price. There is also Marvita. This is going to be a mid-sized master plan community that just began development and there is a fair share of entry-level builders here to choose from. So I would definitely check this community out as well. And then another community that just began development this year is Dunham Point. And these builders will be more into the mid to upper tier builders. And this community is going to have a strong emphasis on the commercial side of things. So I would definitely check these communities out as they are the newest and will probably have the most options for new construction. And of course the two major communities in Cyprus for new construction homes that have been building for quite some time now are Bridgeland and Town Lake. Town Lake is a master plan community that began development about 12 years ago and has a huge man-made lake and beach for its residents. There is a new section opening by the end of summer that will have 200 to 300 new home sites. However, this is probably one of the very last sections for this community. Then there is also Bridgeland, which is a huge master plan community that has completed two sections and just opened their third section on the other side of 290, which will be zoned to Waller ISD. However, there is a lot of opportunity for new construction in this community. Number two is Katy. Katy is one of the larger and better known suburbs of Houston. People love living in Katy because of the beautiful neighborhoods. It does have one of the highest rated school districts in all of Houston, and it is very convenient to a lot of major employment sectors within Houston. Also, it's pretty big now as a suburb and has anything you'll ever need shopping and food wise. There is still a lot of opportunity for new construction in the Katy area. However, you are going to have to go more north or more west for new construction as within the heart of Katy, everything is pretty well built out at this point. My personal favorite is Kane Island because the location is still kind of in the heart of Katy and they have a lot of options for new construction. Some other really popular master plan communities that are a little earlier in development are Ellison and Santerra. Both of these are going to have a ton of new construction options. However, it's going to take a few years for them to see substantial growth, so the locations might not feel as convenient as other areas of Katy. If you are looking for smaller communities within Katy that have entry-level builders, then Tamaran, Katy Point, Windward, and Morton Ranch are all great options to look into. Number three is Fulcher. Fulcher is one of the fastest growing suburbs in the Houston area right now and the majority of the housing available is new construction. This area is zoned to Fort Bend ISD as well as Lamar ISD. Both are A-rated school districts, however, because some of the schools in the area are so new, they don't have the test scores online to reflect the scores within these districts. Because there is so much growth in this area, there are a lot of new schools and new shopping centers coming to the area. And I find Fulcher to be a really good alternative for people looking in the Katy area since a lot of the neighborhoods that start in Katy end up spilling over into the Fulcher area. 
One of the largest and most popular communities that still has new construction options is Cross Creek Ranch, which is a large master plan community with a ton of pools and walking trails and lakes. And this one is in its lost section. However, they are opening another neighborhood called Cross Creek West, which will have a lot more options very soon. Another very popular community in Fulcher is Fulbrook on Fulcher Creek. This one is definitely gives you like a country rural vibe. However, it is in the heart of Fulcher. And this is a great opportunity if you are looking for new construction on the larger lots as they do have limited one acre lots available. Number four is Tomball. Tomball is another area that is growing really fast and there are quite a few opportunities for new construction now and in the future coming to Tomball. Although Tomball does have some shopping centers and easy access to highways, this is a great place to live if you kind of still want a rural country vibe yet close to everything in the city. Overall, Tomball ISD is rated as an a school district, which is appealing to many, many families. Also something to note is that the master plan communities and new homes are slightly more affordable compared to communities like Cypress and Katy. So this is definitely an area worth considering for new construction. Some popular new home communities, Amira, which is a master plan community, one of the largest. And then there is also Cherry Pines, Rose Hill Reserve, and Alexander Estates. Number five on my list is Manville. Manville is located southeast of Sugarland and is part of the Alvin ISD, which is overall rated as an A. This area is really new and there's a lot of new neighborhoods and new construction coming to the area and it is probably one of the most affordable suburbs on my list today for opportunities with new construction in a large master plan community. Some of the most popular master plan communities in this area that you should check out are Dabala Lakes, Meridiana, and Pomona. If you would like more information about the suburbs or the builders and price points within all these communities, feel free to message me. I would love to help you out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.